Fire it up. Be shredding with Barstool. This is my first time in Colorado snowboarding. Guys, I got so much air! I'm going to be meeting up with Tom Walsh. driving to Aspen for the X Games. We have not eaten yet, but we're so excited. I cannot eat all night and still be happy. I'm fired up for the X Games, let's go! <laughs> wow! It's a good suggestion, Sean. Great first stop. I've never been to X Games. I've never really been to Colorado other than to hunt. I'm excited. Dude, look at that. Guys, we snow. This snows. This is tight. Look at this shit. This it? Dude, this is Red Dead Redemption. What were you expecting? Bedrooms. Dude, this lock is awesome. This place is straight out of 1820. I think this will work pretty good. I'm gonna take a bath tonight. Okay, so here we are, day one. It's Friday morning. We're heading down to Aspen. I'm gonna meet up with Alexa Score. What's up? So if you've seen some of my older videos, we wake searched with her and Austin Keen. So she's here in Aspen. She's doing a little commentating. She's hanging around. She's one of the celebs here. I'm gonna be meeting up with Tom Walsh, legendary pro skier and commentator for the X Games. He's gonna show me a thing or two in the park. Hell yeah. Oh, you had it. We're gonna do some snowboarding, just have fun, shoot the shit on the slopes, and uh, just have a day. I'm ready. Good. I need a beer. Okay, so we're here. We're gonna go park because we're not like too cool enough to have a parking pass. So we're gonna go park at this random lot. Harry's driving, so I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous. It's a lot different than snowboarding in the Midwest, but it should be a lot of fun. All the guys besides Donnie know how to snowboard, so they'll give me a little bit of tips and tricks while Donnie just zooms by us. I wore this on the mountain in Wisconsin. So every five steps we went, people were like, Sydney, it was Alex. And I was like, oh, you're gonna watch me fall. <laughs> we just we just walked in the door. Or I guess not the door, we just walked under the... We just walked in. I saw donuts, we had to stop. Peace, love, and donuts, baby. Pretty good. It's fresh, warm. warm. I mean, on donut scale, donuts are all, they start at like seven. It's like an eight and a half. I was gonna say an eight, seven, so yes. Listen, it says Uncle Chuck's and it says Terrain Park. Is it smart for me to go that way? What should I do? Sean, come on, let's be realistic here. Oh, that was insane. How fast am I supposed to go? Like way slower than that. Dude, I can't see in these goggles. Did you get that? Like this? Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Holy, I got a little air. Okay. Here we go, we're, we're doing a little lesson, one-on-one -on -one with fish. Okay, so we're trying to do a butter. Yeah. Oh! I need a little more speed, I think. Oh! <laughs> Shoulder! Yeah! Dang it! So now I just need to figure out how not to fall here. Is it gonna be a black? You guys, all right. Oh, there's some guy. I'm Donnie. Hold up. <laughs> that hurt. Ah, uh, that was okay. I don't know. He just said ah, so that's why I said ah. <laughs> Come on, baby. Okay, that was kind of cool. I was not expecting Donnie to do that. Oh, Sydney! He's Again, guys, just to like remind you, this is my first time in Colorado snowboarding. It's also the first time I've snowboarded in since I was like 15, maybe. So it's been a long time. Wow. Is that a good one? Wow. That was a good one. Trying a 360, this might be ugly. Has Donnie done this before? He, he attempted it, he did like a what, 360, and it was pretty cool, but he fell, it was still badass. 
For right now, I am going to go on this freestyle smaller terrain park just to get my bearings and to kind of see where I'm at before I meet up with Alexa later. Let's see, let's see where I'm at. Hopefully I'm not going as fast as I did the first time. <laughs> Ready? It's like that's not going down. It's like that's not. I'm getting better. I'm getting so much better. I feel so good. We're at the terrain park. Didn't go horribly. Didn't go perfect. So we're gonna go whip around it a couple more times. Get pretty comfortable. Alexa's gonna meet us up here and whip it around with us too. In the meantime, let's check out what Donnie's up to. Yeah, bro, I'm I'm Last time Lenny Balls at AVN, I told myself I'm not gonna do that many shows this year, and then I got offered the X Games and the AVN Awards. I'm like, right. two best like championships right. there are. 16, I used to like compete in Minnesota, oh, yeah, right. and I haven't skied forever, but Tom Balls fucking hooked it up. That makes sense. He's for Young Gravy. I understand. I get it. Got to push me off for Young Gravy. No problem. Who is it? Who's the professional here? <laughs> All of us. Technically, me. We got Tom Wallace here. Come on. Yeah, Tom Walnuts. Number one rule of skiing, you got to make sure your landings look ignorant or else you ain't going to get the sponsors, you ain't going to get the ladies, you're walking away with nothing. Yeah, he makes it look easy, eh? with Tom Walsh. Oh, I'm good. Dropping. Oh boy. Oh. Yo. Oh. oh. That wasn't copying you exactly, but we're good. Let's get back on the horse. Yeah, this one's a launcher. I don't know if this one's for you. Oh. I host a show called Die Trying. You wanna try the back too? Spin. Oh. I popped, I don't think I spun. Spin! Oh! But the whole point of this show is really, because so many people like me didn't start as kids, but are so interested in it. So I'm just trying to give like the average person that, you know, maybe was an athlete in high school or whatever, is trying to learn as an adult. So I'm trying skateboarding too. Skateboarding and like freestyle skiing. And oh, yeah. you know, it's just, uh, we see what we can make I of mean, it. I mean, at but. any age though, it's just fun. I mean, not everybody has Aspen Mountain. Like you grow up in Minnesota, I grew up in Pennsylvania. Like. The resort is small. You're bored of it after a couple runs, but there's always a new rail slide to try, and you can literally make a whole winter of fun yeah. out of trying new rail tricks. Even if you never want to make it as a career, like it's just fun to like scare yourself a little. Yeah, it's fun. It's time. really like once you fall a couple times, you go, all right, it's not that bad. I like like one good fall every once in a while because I'm like, oh, I didn't get hurt, and it like is a reminder that you're like. You're not glass. Then you get to try it again. Yeah. It, like uh, that, that get, fear is pretty cool. And there's just nothing better than the adrenaline rush of like, I don't want to try it. But when you do like actually sack up and try it, that like endorphin hit of like, whoa, that was so sick. And it's irreplaceable. Yeah, man, that's what I'm chasing. We talking about practice. There's a good pink rail for you to try here. All you have is about 15 groms here watching. He's got some speed. Yeah, oh, you had it. That was it! You got this. Well, I can try. Oh, this could be good. Oh. If you came and did this every day and you just straight slide, straight slide, eventually it's like, oh, it's too easy. Just try to keep it chill. Yep. You don't have to grab. It's easy to do yep. a no grab. Though, honestly, T-Rex is kind of a cool style. Short arms, because you don't want to be big arms. Oh. Oh. You nailed it! You were chilling. Is that chilling? Just keep doing them. Oh, I mean, I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Oh! 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 It's fresh snow. That wasn't him. That was not on him. Bro. That was fresh snow in the landing. Yo, 
I mean, that felt good. It counts. We can cut it, right? We have to you cut guys that. look at the footage. We, we can cut, cut that. Okay, so we got Scotty Lego. Fired up. Be shredding with Barstool. It's a Lexus score. <laughs> so we're going to hit the slopes. Scotty also can talk hunting, which I really like. Yeah. That's my main you know, expertise nowadays is hunting, snowboarding yeah, on the side. Dude, I went off so many different jumps. I was like, come on, please. Dude, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> see they the weren't like the big ass ones where I was, would have died and broke my neck, <laughs> but I did something. Boxes. Yes. Okay, learn how to do that. Perfect. Did the rainbow box. Did that. Nice. First box that I went on, I was going so fast. Yeah. And I just, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What's your most memorable hunt? Probably the first buck I killed tracking up in northern Maine. It, it's just tough. It's just so tough. There's barely any deer up there, but the ones that are there are huge. So I tracked them all day. It was like I did not run into another deer track. I was on the deer all day, and it was so challenging. Like I ended up going almost 10 miles. He did just about every trick in the book to to shake me. That was a pretty cool one. He was like over 200 pounds so on the East Coast. It's like that's huge. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's so like so rewarding. We, I'm not emotional, but like I ended up. When I killed him, like, I was just bawling and crying because <laughs> Ooh, it meant it so much to me, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It yeah. was so hard, it's like but, a, uh. It's like an elk hunt almost, all those miles walking. Totally, yeah. Have you ever read Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway? He respects the fish so much, but he's gonna fucking kill the fish. <laughs> right, so He's right. like, you're my brother, Yeah. but you will die before the day is done. And that's and a that's weird, same... it's a weird thing though, yeah. because like, I do, I love animals, you know, but I'm a hunter. Like, like I haven't bought meat understand. in the last 15 years, you know, I literally just, Live off the land. You hit it on the top of the head about like loving the animals and caring for the animals and respecting the animals that much more when you're actually like hunting or fishing them because you understand them. Yeah, more you understand so. how amazing they are too. Yeah, you know? yeah, mm -hmm. and their ways of life because it, it is really spectacular. That's a good point. It's your time to shine, guys. How you feeling? It's my time to watch and learn. You really have to go. It jumps, you know. You just kind of like. Uh, 1.5, but that even, hey, three off a jump, you know? That is the end of day one. Sydney, nice job out there. Your first time skiing out west. You crushed it. That was awesome. What'd you think? Well, I mean, it was so fun. I was a little petrified at first. I didn't know what to expect. Snow is a lot thicker here than the Midwest, but I finally got confidence. I hit some jumps, not like Donnie. That was pretty intense and really cool to actually see him do that. And you don't do it very often. I was impressed with myself. I think I got a little lucky out there. Maybe the camera gave me some more confidence. We're at X Games. Q Aspen After Dark. Let's get it, gravy. Aspen. Empanadas. Uh, we're trying to eat. Oh! <laughs> Can we get food here or what? I want three empanadas, one beef, one pork, one cheese. They're running on empanadas, guys. No, no, no. Oh shit! I don't see him. Now I see him. I don't see him. Now I see him, dude. Two beef, two chicken, one ham and cheese and bacon. Can I give you a kiss? Yes, I gotta feed the crew. We got Sean behind the camera, we got fish, we got Harry. Harry! There he is. Jesus Christ, I got some empanadas. Chill, how is it? How is it? Hide, hide. Yeah, I know hide. it's hot. Put it back in. Alright, this is Santiago's empanada. We had a beautiful kiss. Now I'm gonna take a bite of his empanada. I don't know if it's because I'm hammered, or because I kissed him, or because they're actually good because you've been making them for 20 years. 
but I'm gonna give this a 9.2. It's not spicy. <gasps> what are you doing? That's an L. Let it cool. I think it's a little hot right now. Stop! Stop! I have an upper arm.